hey guys welcome back to my channel say so so in previous video we have seen that how we can implement before insert trigger in this video we are going to see that how we can implement after insert trigger with a practical scenario so let's start with the video so here is one example like we are going to write a trigger on account object right so what will the logic whenever the account will get created so after the creation of the record account record it's contact its related contact object record will also get treated automatically right so this is the thing which we are going to implement in today's video so let's start with the video what i want to do i want to write a trigger if account is created okay is created then what we do create its create its related contact okay so this what i want to do with the help of after trigger with the help of after insert event trigger so this is what i want to do so how we can do it so for that i have created another method let's make it name of create contact or make it not create you can make it single insert related contact that's so in this case what i want i want to call this class i want to call this method for apex uh, for after insert so how we can call it like this dot and inside this trigger dot new okay so this is how we can call that method but you can see like here we are not able to differentiate like let me just save it okay so now what is happening we are calling update rating when this method is getting called and insert related record method also when this trigger is getting rated so this are this trigger will be get called twice once in a before insert and once in after insert so which means that our both the methods will get called twice which is very worst thing it can cause error so differentiate this conditions we have what we have we have context variable so how do we use our context variable so in that case suppose if we want to use so the first best practice we have to check whether which kind of operations you are performing so whether it is a upray update insert delete or undo so for checking the for checking whether your trigger is getting executed on insert operation so for there there is a context variable which is named as is insert so what we will do we will check if trigger dot is insert sorry if trigger dot is insert means if this trigger is getting called because of insert operation then this if block will get called okay else uh, don't need else because today we are seeing only insert one so let's go with insert one okay so these are this is the first thing we have checked if this trigger will get called because of insert operation then this if uh, will get executed so you must be thinking like we have only passed before insert and after insert so in that scenario there is no use of this if condition correct because obviously there is going to called in insert mode. so suppose if i go and make it before update also okay now in that case our that that practice got failed so that's why we mentioned we are checking whether the trigger is getting called during the insertion of or updation so if it's got called during insertion so inside this code whatever the code square logic will mention inside this if block it will get executed so in insert also there are two scenarios right one is before insert and one is after insert so for before insert what we have we have to check is before so it returns true if trigger was fired by any record was saved so how we will check it the same way if trigger dot is before okay so in this case what will happen this will called then in before is okay in before insert okay and else if else if trigger dot is after 
okay if trigger dot is after okay so in this case what will happen this block will get executed in the case of after insert so do you got reference so what we will do when we want to call update rating so we will pass we will call this method inside this scenario and if we want to call our insert related account then we will call it inside this scenario so this is the way where how you can utilize your context variable so i hope you got it so first of all it is checking whether it is insert or not and after that it is checking other scenarios if whether it is before insert or insert so if it is before insert then update the and if it is after insert then call this method so like uh, this is the block like this else block you can see like it will be triggered when the trigger will execute in after insert context so whenever the after insert whenever the after insert context will get run so this else block will get executed and when it will get executed then what will happen we are calling a trigger handler right so there is a class which we have created like we have seen in previous video the name is account trigger handler and inside that we have created a method insert related contacts right so if i show you during the calling of this method we are passing a parameter which is trigger dot new so what does trigger dot new consist of it consists of the new as object records which because of which this trigger has been called means because of which this trigger event has been fired so let's go so the trigger so basically that are the list of as object right new as object list so that's why we are receiving the data of trigger dot new inside the list of accounts why because we are going to perform the operations on account object right you can see this trigger will get fired whenever a insert operation will perform on account object so that's why we are storing that uh, trigger dot new data will be stored inside a list of account whose name of that list is account list so for example let's go first and try to create one and see whether we are getting the data inside it or not right so let's go here in the account then click new and let's create an account with the name testings right let's click on save so it has been saved so if i go and check in the logs right you can see i put a system dot debug here so if i go in the logs and let's try to open this one if i click on debug only so you can see i am getting the data inside the account list if i zoom it so you can see the account id is this so if i show you so you can match this particular account id it is ending with 9 double ag the same id we are getting here means we are able to get that record details because of which this after insert trigger has been executed right so you can see the name of the account is testings so it means that we have uh, successfully obtained the data because of which this trigger is getting caught so now what we need to do we need to create a co contact record of this related account means whenever user will create any account record so a related contact will get created automatically with the same name whatever is the name of account is so let's go and implement it so first of all what we need to do we need to create a empty list of contact object right so let's go and try to create so why i'm creating this empty list for the insertion operation so that we can uh, insert the operation in a bulky file manner right then after creating a new empty list of contacts let's go so basically we are getting data inside a list right so if we if i want to obtain like if i want to access each field data for example if i want to access id if i want to access name so how we can access it like this is a list so yeah if you guessed it so you guessed it right to access the access the data from a list what we do we run a for each loop right so how we can execute it so just implement a for each loop so the data of that uh, list will be of account type and i am, will be using the sec as a variable and it will iterate through this list account list right so if i show you whenever this for loop will get run so it will iterate through this account list suppose if this list consists of two records so it will run twice if it is only has only one record so it will run only once so if i show you that how we can access the data inside that list so we just have to do sec dot field name so for example if i want to access the name 
so what i have to do i just have to do sec and then dot field name so the name of the field is what name so let's go and try it right so this is done so let's try to save it and test it whether it is running fine or not so let's make it sec name okay so let's go here and try to delete this one and let's try to create a new one so i am going to create a new one so testings if i click on save so it has been created so if i go so you can see a new log has been generated so let's try to open this log and if i click on debug only so you can see we are able to get the name of that particular account right testings so like this we can access the field values so now what you have to do you have to create a related contact of this account with the same name right so how we can do the first step is to create the instance of contact object so let's go and go with new contact like this so we have created a new instance then by using uh, so this uh, we have created an object of contact object right instance of contact object so by using the instance name we can access the contact object fields so for example if i click on dot then i will be referring the account id right so what is account id so on the contact object account id is the lookup field which connects account a uh, contact record with the account record so inside this account id what i want to pass i want to pass the id of this account right i want to pass the id of this account name testing account so how i can access that you can see like this thing is running inside a for loop it means we can still access this sse variable so how we can do it sse dot id that's it so the second thing what you have to do because on a contact object the last name field is a required so we must put some value inside the last name otherwise it will not save so how we can do it let's go and try to copy it here contact or uh, con object dot last name sorry not this one last name and inside the last name what i want to uh, store i want to store the name of the account itself so let's go and put it here sc dot name right so basically you must be thinking that what i have done basically this is a lookup field api for example if i show you uh, setup and in the object manager then search for the contact and open the contact right and open the fields and relationship so here you can see there is a field name which is account id right and what is this this is a lookup relationship field with the account means which is connecting a contact record with the account record so that's why we have passed the account id of that account for which i want to create this contact right so now our work is done so what i have to do i just have to add this con object inside the con list empty list which we have created at the top so just uh, use the add method and we will add the instance of the con object inside it right like this and now what we do we just have to uh, insert it inside the database so what we will do we will not uh, do any dml operation inside the for loop because that is not the best practice so we will come outside of the for loop and we will check whether this con list is empty or not right if this con list is not empty right if this con list is not empty then what i need to do i want to insert that particular contact that's it so our work is done so this is our logic which we are able to see on the screen right now so let's go and try it right so if i go on the contact let's try to create a new account the name of the account will be sf no so the time when i click on save so account has been treated and along with the account you can see a contact has already been also been treated right the same name so if i open this contact so it will be created with the same name of the account like you can see the name of the contact is sf no and it is related with sf no account so i hope you got it so guys that's all for this video so in the next video we are going to see like how we can implement before update and after update scenario so guys till then goodbye and have a great day